We got, look at this. I, I, got, a, I got a pyramid head cookie. Macaron. Uh, a, a pyramid head macaron. The most delectable, the most delightful, the most exquisite. I love it. What'd you get, Steve? Oh, extra life. You're, you're gonna need that extra life here at this convention. Is that, yeah. I don't need to be any bigger than I already am. I'm down for pyramid head. That's awesome, thank you. Have I shown you the cool things that Rock Solid Productions does? This is a USB, you plug it in, there's a light in there. Cool Nintendo sign, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here all lit up. Well, it's not lit up now, it's not plugged in. But thank you, Gary, thank you, Rock Solid Productions. I have a green light already the vendor hall's not even open yet and i already have a green light i'm starting with 41 we'll see where we are at the end of the uh the uh, video here three already that's amazing who do we have we have missouri from wisconsin we got wisconsin taken care of i'm in milwaukee so that makes sense we have oh there's steve and link from hawaii whoa got hawaii on the list i'll take it one of the convention's exclusives here and look how look how fast it's going without any flicker or slowdown how did you do it? You're, you're a madman. Lots of time and dedication. First your hair and your beard, then the time and dedication. Look how shiny, too. I don't too. have time to trim my beard or get a hair. Oh, well, it's too, you're too busy on this game. That. <laughs> That's right. Got the custom board on the back, too. That's cool. So we had a set of all of the characters from video games. Game oh, they, yeah, so yeah, yeah. You're the first one I'm giving out a, a set to. This is a complete set of the uh, video game stages stuff I here, huh? So we might have come out with uh -oh. I'm, I'm getting all so. getting all tangled um, up here. Hold on. So I'll be walking around. I'm just like me right now, but I made a... BGS jersey with my Scrubbins username on the back. Okay. Uh, football jersey. So I'll be walking around. I've got 15 sets on me, 14 now. All right. Just handing out. And then we'll be ordering some more and selling them on the store. Oh, there you go. All right. I got a little sneak preview here. <laughs> and if you're here, it's too late now if you're watching this, but just on the video game stage store. Yeah. Show me the amazing. See, that's the best thing ever. <laughs> you're using the controller, but it is a projection pop up book. It's a projection pop up book, basically. And will this be for sale event? Oh God, come on. This is like, this is better than the Sega Pico. This is amazing. And will this be a thing that people can buy or is it Kickstarter or what's what's the future at, at for this? At some point, I'm still looking at how to bring it to market, but that's the plan. I want to bring it to my house. That's what I want. <laughs> Everyone wants one, yeah. Oh my God. That is just the coolest thing ever. You, you just play the storybook. Yeah, yeah. Oh dude, how amazing is that? Oh, come on. <laughs> That's a me, oh dude! Speedrun. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yes, speedrun champion. It's not out yet, so you, of course you got the champion. Another game called Krabby Attack. Yeah. Game over. More and more keep popping up. Yeah. Or you get special power ups. You get the nice. Stars, you get blow up Ooh. Okay. Take All right. The entire screen. Oh, we got move, moving, moving enemies now. Just like in Space Invaders, when you have the UFO at the top of the screen. Right. Oh. Colors A is red, B is blue. Okay. These are the rules. It's basically a puzzle game, like the Pokemon Ice game. You ever played that? Oh, sure. Hinton. It's that. They have blocks you have to destroy. You hold A or red to destroy red blocks as you're moving. Okay. Hold B, B. for the blue oh, blocks. Oh, look at this. And, and then out through the exit, and you better hit the right button. Right. Or and bad news is going to happen. Placed in some alleyways. Here are police scanners. Oh, okay. You oh, sure. Them. Boom, boom. Move on to the next neighborhood. Interesting. Okay. There's a demo available now? There is a demo available right now um, on my website, uh, lcmgames.com. After MGC is done, it will be available to everybody. It doesn't cost a penny. Oh, even better. Um, so you can download the ROM. You can play it in your browser. You can do what you wish with it. Sure. And... Yeah, this is basically a freebie game for me to everybody. Oh, look at you being all nice and stuff. <laughs> I would have sold it. Good looking game right there. Come on now. This was kind of fun. Convention Quest. You play, it's a video game about a convention that happened at the Let's Play Expo in 2019. These are fun because it looks like a little Famicom cart. And they all transform into little robots. See, look at that. A little transformable robot from some vending machine in Taiwan from however many years ago. How amazing. The coolest thing ever. I love it. This is, uh, this random acts of Honeybee in Mortal Kombat, is the Mortal Kombat 2 not working or what's going on not with this? Working. Okay, so I, I, I happened to just literally to get out of the rain at Moe's Irish Pub and this guy was like, oh, here, I got these things for you. So I saved you the trouble of finding me tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, well, I hope to see you then. Right. I don't know if that's like exhaust or it's like, it's some kind of like, I don't know. So I found my way back to the arcade. 
And it's open on Friday. Vendors, panels, everything else is open on Saturday. Hey, I remember seeing this game at Game Terminal in Nashville, right? In my Game Terminal in Nashville video. Yeah, here's that game that I was like, what is this? I've never seen this before. And then other people popped up in the chat saying, hey, Tattoo Assassins, come on now. Well, I mean, it sure is interesting to say the least. <laughs> kind of fun to see the Polygate here too, the Polycade. Donut Dodo, I love Donut Dodo. Glad to see that on the Polycade. I mean, really, anybody that does music to quartet, that's good news with me. You've heard of the Game Boy Micro. That's the game. That's the Game Boy Macro there. Yeah, yeah that's great. I don't know. You almost eat it. There you go. You gotta hold on to both sides there. All right. Well, off, off to a swimming start. That's amazing. I love it. Love your other stuff. Yeah, the the, the 2600 got the dream. The portable. This is this is the the actual portable PlayStation, right? Oh, that's up. Check it out. Check it out. It's the PS. Oh, it's the PS1 shell, but it's portable. I made it about oh my a quarter God. inch thicker and fit the screen and everything inside of it. Oh, it's amazing. Well, now I'm jealous. I need that. Oh, there it is. How cool. This thing was wow. until a few minutes. And this is a portable Sega CD? Yep. That's amazing. Dude. Come on. Wait, there's the back side. Oh. It, I'm it, playing it, a burned copy, but... No, well, you know. Yeah, I made this years ago, and it died, and I, I resurrected it. That's amazing. But it, it works off of disc, so it's not like some emulator. It actually yeah. works off of the actual disc. Yeah, it's actual hardware. Oh, I might have dude. several CDXs made. The Genesis Switch? Yeah, that's the whole Sega Genesis squeezed inside of there. That's a... I need one of each. And these guys. Uh, How'd you like one of these? The Wii Vision? It's a portable Wii system, if you want to imagine that. Including these guys. The Ultra Wii Sakura. I saw the cute form fitting. Hey, look, I'm in Earthbound. Ta da! Oh, wait, wait, no, hold on. I spoiled the surprise. I'm in Earthbound, yay! No, it's um, uh, Mother to Earthbound. It's the, uh, the documentary. Have you checked this out yet? There's a documentary on Earthbound called Mother to Earth. And there's a few things set up here. But you haven't checked this out yet. Check this out yet. Mother to Earth, look it up. Oh, hey, actually, oh, here it is. Look at this. Can you scan that? Does that work? Yes. I don't know if I can get that to work. Try scanning that. It's, it's worth checking out. And mirror, mirror, check out these super stretchy jeans. This is from Mott and Bo. When you'll find me at conventions, you'll always see me wearing these jeans and this shirt as well. Uh, super, super comfy, super flexy. I gotta have something like that for someone of my body size and stature to be looking good, man, and feeling good about it too. So a uh, big thanks to Mott and Bo for providing um, some clothing for my trip. They even make the comfiest sweats you'll ever find. Nice in pockets. These are my, I'm home for the day and I'm wearing these for the rest of the night. And with jeans that look and stretch this good. Love that four-way stretch with these. It's always a beautiful thing. So check out the website, of course, mottenbow.com. You can check out links in the description. We're gonna have a fun weekend here at Midwest Gaming Classics. It's gonna be a fun Thor time. just dropped this off to me in the middle of chaos. A new tumbler. That's a good looking tumbler right there. And all my friends on there too, Rock Solid Productions, Game Dad, Square Pegs. Hey, where's Thor? Thor made this, he didn't even put his own channel on here? Man, listen. Uh-oh. Designed in New Jersey. Wait, I am just kidding. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna be using this this weekend. We have about half an hour before the doors open to the to the people for the vendor hall. So let's take a quick snoop around. I'm not gonna buy anything yet because I want the I want the people who purchase their tickets to get those first sales. But let me see what there is around the vendor hall uh, while we can, man. And I flip the camera around and I see this right here. That's kind of fun and fancy. You did a fantastic job. Look at this. It was all in shambles yesterday, and today it's its own little portable store today. The Gamers for Gamers booth is always super cool because they have all these Famicom and all these Super Famicom and stuff like that, including Famicom Disk System. Ta-da, ta-da. Oh, it's exciting billiards. Super exciting, man. Oh, they'll have the box stuff up here too. Ooh. Yes, please. This is the good stuff. I know it. Just love this stuff. I wish I had a Game Boy that was this big enough to play it. We are actually going to make a, we're going to call it the Game Man. Okay. We're actually going to make oh, a print Game one Man. And we're going to probably put a, okay. um, like a Raspberry Pi in it with a sure. card in that, so then when you slide it in, it'll, That's funny. it'll bring it up. No, I know. Well, yeah, it's just, 
what a great thing just to have on the on the wall or just yeah. just decorations just decorate yeah on the on the game shelf or something like that yeah, you have just got a favorite game oh you have a lot more over here too come on these are great oh there's chippendale too perfect now that right there's a good looking t-shirt that's a good looking shirt right there wake up i've never seen one of those before yeah that's amazing it's japanese exclusive it's Japanese? Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the calendar, perhaps. This it it will work in 2025, though, so. This is my horror sex corner. The, the, okay, well, here, I'm, I'm in the right place, then. <laughs> yeah, Tales of the Crypt on VHS. Gotta love that. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Love seeing stuff like this, too, like these binders. You know, makes it handy. Always fun to see these. Yeah, totally. Just look like this random block of melted crayon. <laughs> but they fun. expand out into these things, yeah. <laughs> uh, especially a, especially at a gaming event you can always use a new uh can always use a new black light exactly oh <laughs> the truth is revealed and then brilliant enough at the midwest gaming classic at least this year these guys and then right next to that pro wrestling there's a legit wrestling ring in the corner it's like just hanging out and watch some wrestling later on today and this isn't thanks to brew city wrestling who's gonna have a couple of shows one at noon and one at three. I'm going to see what one of these ropes looks like up front, up close. That's pretty cool. Turnbuckle. And that doesn't. Now look at this die tower. What, what kind of dice tower is this? It's a six footer. You drop it in there, and it shoots out there. That's a little much, <laughs> but even better. And this is uh, very cool here. Oh, look at the creepy skull with the creepy spine. Oh, look at the cuteness. I love the cuteness. Of all the booths that I thought would be here, Ikea was not one of them. With like chairs and setups and with the stuff for the casual gamer. That actually looks really comfy there. I like that. I also like the schematic. I love the the Sega Genesis style uh, black grid uh, <laughs> cloth there. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me on this? Blowing up my buddy. Self stuff like the stack up in the box. Got a loose snatcher, not bad. And fun and games for the 3DO. For Atari. Out of control. One of the rarest games. Is it? Okay. Yeah. 8,000? There's some guy trying to get 40 grand on eBay for one, but I okay. don't mind for actually to sell it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So what's the, uh, is it just uh, a low print run or what, make, yeah, what makes it like a rarity? Yeah, it's like an R10, you know what I mean? Okay. Well, just hanging out here. Just right along with the uh, Lynx stuff and everything. <laughs> what can you tell me about it, John? It's really tough to get. Okay. One of the Holy Grails. Finding one, A, is hard. And then finding one in box is like... That's that's a hard thing. The box, yeah. the boxes will never survive. Right. And this came out, you know, Avalon Hill kind of jumped into the scene late with 2600. You know, they did a lot of computer software. Right. And so they seized out a couple of games. What's kind of cool about their their cartridges are different shapes. Catacombs chaos. Look at these handsome guys. Ooh, feel the little feelies. Oh, the little Joy-Con grips. Ooh. Oh wait, people are coming in. I better go back to my table. Oh, what do you got? It's a. Uh... Not working? Yeah, for the open card surgery. Okay. Clean the pins down the board. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any damage to pins or anything. I interesting. He might have, might need to be a solder job. All something. right, I'll have a look. Thank you. Look at this, look at this guy. There you are. There's me. You got Washington taken care of. Perfect. And there they are again. We find Dodo Wawa. We find Dodo Wawa. I found the anime VHS. Always what I'm looking for at conventions anymore. Ninja Resurrection wins Windaria. Not sure if it's dubbed or English language version. Oh, come on. Give me those delicious, delicious subtitles. Ah, I'll come back in a little bit. And efficiently with the line, they literally opened the doors maybe like 30 seconds ago, 60 seconds ago. You see people making a mad dash for all the deals. And uh, there's literally no one at my table. <laughs> people, people will stop by. And we're gonna have some fun this weekend. Look at how many people, I can't just... Yeah, this would this be a crazy weekend. You know, the show's been open for two seconds. You already have quite the hall there in front of you there. What is this one? Now, is that the train? Oh my God. I have a friend of mine who's been looking for one of those for years. Ah, looks beautiful. Oh my God, that's great. Oh, <laughs> dude. You can have it. Oh, I love it. I, I, it's funny, I don't even have a manual for my own game. Read it, see if you like it. I love it already. Oh, I should. Dude, this looks great. List, you know? Yeah, I love this. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta have him make me a bunch of them. It's called Milwaukee. <laughs> Tell me more about this Mega Visions. Ooh, 
Retro Game Magazine. Uh, we, this is one of our older copies, actually. Okay. Uh, well, the good thing about Retro Magazines is it doesn't matter what when it came out. It's, <laughs> it's a, the content is already all there. Yeah, we're, we're Sega focused. I also have the new uh, oh, issue as well. That looks great. So, all well, the artwork on this. Oh, this yeah, this yeah, is right up my alley. Full, full uh, color and everything. We got retro and indie reviews. I love all the above. We did a Kickstarter for a while, but now we have them available at our web store, megavisions.net. They're 10 bucks for the magazine. But... Nice, dude. You know, all my other friends get like boxes of Earthbound. You know, they get the uh, you know the hard to find games, Musha. All I ever get are broken games. What do you got? Oh, this is a good one too. All right. Not working. We'll try. This is my friend Dale. We've known each other for years. And look at these. Yeah. Got the, this, is, this is the new one. I saw yeah. this yesterday. Chibi yeah. Monster Brawl. And that this looks amazing. These are from um, France? Yes, yeah, from, from my place, yes. For, it's from your place? Yeah, from uh oh. <laughs> Botanium. Okay. Yes, yes. I love it. All the way from France. Thank you so much, man. This is, a, this is great. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's buying a game, but there's a secret. Should I, should I unveil? Is it a broken game? No. Should I do a little peek -see? Wait, what? That's not a, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. What? Just wanted to commemorate uh, 69 uh, me characters in the plaza. Because that right there is the game that... I'm not going to bother sits it out or anything like that, but that's... This is one I don't have. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it goes, here it goes. are just cool. I actually might want to get one of these sometimes. Got the headband as well. Just super, super fun stuff here. I remember these guys uh, last time as well. Got some new stuff this, since last time though. Dude. Got the Project Echo. Got more. I was just talking about. Whoa. 18 for three. Is it dubbed or subbed though? Oh, this is Saberman at J again. Okay. English adaptation. Got the, uh, Run my DVDs here as well. I have one, but not the other. On a, I have one on VHS. I wouldn't mind getting them back on DVD too. I might have to grab some anime before I get out of here. Oh, you played the Sega Master System game. Got a zillion. You like Garfield? They got Garfield into his magic bag of stuff. Uh, <laughs> Something a little different. What the? A little golden book, Super Mario. Is this a thing? That's a thing. I didn't even know this was a thing. Yeah, I know. When I saw that, I was like so excited. I said, this is crisp too. Oh, it's brand new. They have Pokemon now. <laughs> wow. I mean, I love these books. My wife collects these, but uh, you know, I didn't even know this was a thing. I know. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, man. This yeah. is great. I'm gonna have to find the other ones now. Thanks. <laughs> Another root beer as we wait. And no. I just saw that up here. No. Card trading games as well. All of the tabletop type games here too. This one's called the Garcade on the second floor. More of the arcade machines are bound to be here, which is kind of sweet to see. That's, the, that's what they have there. And then Guys Games and Beer hosts this room full of uh, some things to play and like this like shooting gallery in the back, kind of nice. Oh, these guys are probably having a duel. Oh, right in the leg. Welcome to the world of Nintendo. As they're showing some stuff here, some nice Zelda signage and display. Look at this, look at this display here for Legend of Zelda. That's like to have one of those in your collection, huh? Got the kiosk going down there. Maybe we can play their first Game Boy on something like this. There's that. This is great. Got the, uh, the signage in the background. I've seen, you can see the kind of cool stuff they have for something like this. The virtual buy on display. Be careful, you'll be sucked into the hypothetical third dimension. <laughs> Go for it, John. The one to watch out for is this game called The Storied Sword. Very Ninja Gaiden, very Batman. New game coming soon. Keep an eye out for it, because I know I am. It's gonna be awesome. Look who I ran into! It's me! It's that guy! Jonah! What? <gasps> but we have the real star here, who doesn't even know that she's gonna be on camera yet. Come on! <laughs> Okay, no. Okay. Quince. 
I'm I mean, here to enable you to make bad decisions. I don't have I don't have one yet. I if think I, I don't think they're for sale. Make... Mario Party 5, one of the best ones for 65. Never mind. No, no manual, I'm sure. That's what that means. Oh, look at this. Stuff like the table stuff. Why wouldn't you buy the why wouldn't you buy it from this guy when he has the uh, best vendor booth uh Retro Palooza 18? Ignore the year. Ignore the year. Ignore it's every year. Year doesn't, yeah, exactly. Every That's year. Exactly. Every year. That's, so That's it. Cool actually. I mean Come on. Bubble guppies. And Team Umizumi, what? I've made it all the way to this part of the video. Didn't even look at the five dollar games. What do we got for $5 that hasn't already been picked through? Now, this is the end of the day on Saturday, and I'm still shopping around. But, you know, I'll grab, like, a, you know, Karate Champ, Airwolf, Chess Master, maybe. There's some good games in here for 5 bucks. Track and Field 2 is a favorite of mine. I mean, Nintendo World Cup. That's Technos. That's, like, basically if they had Dodgeball, but, you know. That's Dynax for 5 bucks. Absolutely. Yeah, there's some good games in here for 5 bucks. Sky Shark, maybe, too. And not to be outdone, this is the $5 Nintendo Famicom. So these Famicom games, I already see Dragon Ball Z. Pocketsaurus? Interesting. Oh, look at this. Here's a Tag Team Pro Wrestling. Mock Rider, cool label that. This game's called Super Chinese. That's... The original Paper Mario was apparently supposed to be called Super Mario RPG 2. <laughs> Donkey Kong. I love these um, cases here. This, is, this one's still sealed. Yeah, it can stay sealed, but still. You know, I just love these uh, form factor for the uh, GameCube imports. It's like the right spot to be in. Look at this. $10 any Super Famicom CIB. Add to your CIB collection here. Seriously? It's like the Beyblade here. What is this? <laughs> I love this. This is. Did you print this yourself? What? You made this? Look at this. You could put it right over your face. Look at that. These are some really cute designs here. I love that. That's the best one ever. <laughs> these guys are still doing... New games for the Lynx, of all things. Love the Lynx stuff. These are just so cool. It's like the back glass kind of things to uh, pinball and stuff like that. Love that. You got the shirt form too. Yeah. Love seeing the Handy Boy. Look at this thing. It's like kind of going to mech out your uh, Game Boy there with the joystick and extra buttons and the sound speakers and the magnifying light and everything like that. 100 bucks extra. That was the thing to have, uh, if you had a, a Game Boy, that was the thing to have. The IQ. So it's the same kind of thing. The IQ. Man, that's awesome. Whenever I see TurboGrafx-16, I always gotta take a quick peek. Kind of the common-y, common ones so far. E. Yeah, that's the... Can I make it better? <laughs> Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Oh my god, I, I see that now. Right. What happened? It looks like he's... Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Did the old Kali Ma and try to reach in there, grab the heart, and just pull it right out there? Exactly. Oh, that's exactly. that's actually kind of funny. I kind yeah. of want that, actually. <laughs> what do you think? Can you, can you fix it? Yeah. I can, I, I, can choose, I can choose some bubble gum and stick it right in there. It'll, there still, it'll still work. As long as it works, it's good, you know? <laughs> that's what we see at a whole lot of conventions here. They play a loud soundtrack. Yeah, another one of him, like, uh, with his eyes kind of fun thing. This wasn't intentional. Uh, the power just went off. I mean, like, they were, they were playing, we're, we're playing, I'm in the, uh, the, the, kind of the homebrew section here. And I was like, oh, the power turned off. That's kind of weird. And then, like, the music was playing, the arcades were playing, and then nothing. This is odd. See, the idea would be to shut off the arcade and have only the homebrews be the things you can play. That's right. I yeah, mean, we, that's... Yeah. Yeah. That so was my plan. This, that was originally, but we hit the wrong switch, and now it's okay. Uh, okay, that, that, that's on us. Don't worry about that. That's, not sure in advance how much of the after party or the VIP party I will film. So they'll be talking with, chatting with people and stuff like that. But uh, back in the, this room here, they provided snacks. And when I say snacks, I mean snacks. Don't always, uh, you don't always see something like that here. I'm munching my chips here. <laughs> Got a videoception here. All right, the old. I'm trying to look at the video of the other thing. Yeah. Oh my god. To uh, free beer and stuff and food and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, been a good, it's been a good weekend and it's only probably weekend. only halfway through it. The uh, Hazy IPA. Let's have a look. Yes. It's actually really good. I'm waiting in line to grab a drink. And all the people who don't drink just keep on giving me their uh, drink tokens. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm three drinks in already. I haven't had anything yet. This would be the Kung Lao. No, I know. This werewolf game is insane. But tell me about insane. 
when I see this thing that you just, like, how did you even come across this thing? I made that for you. It's a rarity. Look at this. I know it's a rarity. <laughs> now, you know why? Because it's one of a kind. It's one, this is a one of one. Amazing. I can't thank you enough, man. That's a, fantastic. That's going up on the wall for sure, on the shelf. Just a little something to stick on the shelf, all right? No, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. This is this is the reason. The reason for this season. It even, it even, it even fits my face perfectly. It is perfect. That, 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 it's, it's a dead giveaway. I love it. They are still playing werewolves. If you ever played Werewolves Within on VR, this is a live version, kind of like where Werewolves Within came from. And this this drink I'm drinking is pretty amazing too. Remember, remember doing this as a kid, like walking up the down escalator. You'll never catch up, Zion. Can I speed up the process here? You know, it's not gonna happen. It's a nice workout, I guess. Look at all of us. You only go as far as you can. It's not gonna matter. Oh. I can try, but I'm gonna have to walk the opposite direction here. Oh, do I slide through? You're, uh, oh, go for it. <laughs> what a trip. Oh, there you are. <laughs> There's me. My legs, I think, are about to crumble. All right, well, yeah, well, you're going to be there tomorrow? Yeah, I will. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, John. All right. Good to see you. As we, as we wave goodbye to a day one, or day two now, good looking Sunday morning here in Milwaukee. I really do like this town. Pretty nice looking day today. It's like 30 degrees outside, but that's not so bad. It's funny, this little part right here looks like something out of like Tony Hawk, you know? So I skipped my breakfast opportunity with Adam and Kelsey and Jesse to get to the Vendor Hall early, because I thought we opened at nine, we opened at 10. <laughs> so I missed breakfast. So I went down to the uh, Third Street Market again and grabbed donuts, French toast, orange cream, um, I don't really drink coffee, so I didn't grab a coffee. Uh, I didn't even see tea on the menu. So after this, I'm gonna have to, I think there's like a, Wal like a Walgreens next door. So I'll grab something to drink, make it over to the convention, and have a great day today. I can't wait. So here's the gimmick. This game, this game. Krabby Attack, Krabby Attack. Super awesome. One of the mystery cards is the sand cart. Yes. The trick is, which one is it? I guess we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can luck out today. It is... I don't know. So is there any difference between like just the colors of no, the... it's just... It's just, okay. It's, your own indication there. Yes. What do I feel like? I mean, I gotta go with lucky number eight. All right. That's, it's my wife's favorite number. I was turned down by seven girls in a row in college <laughs> before I met my wife. That's a true story. This one's gonna be the sand cart and away we go. It is it's not. Gray. It is gray. It's okay. That means someone still has a chance of any the... Oh, here's the car right here. No, that's not it. That's not it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why you can't find it. You put it in the wrong stack. No, this okay. This is a separate one. Oh, this is so the this prize is, one. This is number one for our championship. Okay. Well, man, look at that. That's a good looking. Oh, how did you? Well, I'm not gonna ask, but that's fantastic. Well, great job. See, why watch YouTube when I can just have the YouTube people come to me? A little, little unboxing video, a little pickup video already. What'd you find? This here. This. Oh, they got the. Holy Sword Psycho Caliber. Oh, hold on now, hold on. It's a little yellow. I just, no, that's fine though. But I, I, it's beautiful. It's got everything in it. I love this concept for oh, yeah. like how these boxes are just so unique and everything. Oh yeah. And here it is, Famicom disc disc system here. Mm -hmm. There we go. And a, is that a cassette soundtrack? I believe so. Oh, we're gonna have to test that. It's, it comes with a cassette soundtrack. That's how old school this is. <laughs> Oh man! Probably my best find today. That is beautiful. This was today. Yes. Oh, I'm so jealous. Wow, what a great, great find on that one. Oh yeah. And this is the Shredder's uh, Re Revenge. Yeah. Shredder's Re Revenge. Yes. Playable on the uh, Sega Genesis here. Thank you so much. This yeah. is. I'm looking forward to checking. I've heard a lot of good things about this. It, it's really cool. It's like I don't really get into ROM hacks, but this one it makes it like a brand new game. Yeah. I know. I've, I've, I've heard good things. So I'm gonna really look forward to checking it out. Going for big money here. Watch out. And this is the whatnot. And five bucks. I do like my five dollar games, man. Okay. Whiskey battered cheese curds at the Oak Barrel in Wisconsin. And the Wisco Burger is a cheese sauce smash burger, bourbon. Uh, bacon on there somewhere and sweet potato fries as always. I did not even finish that burger. I had about half of it and maybe like half of the sweet potato fries. It was super good though. And now it's that time. Um, came back here, hung out for a little bit and it's time for everyone's favorite game. I have half an hour left and I still need to buy for uh, my kids and my wife. And I have uh, usually stuffed animals. We'll see what we can find though. Maybe something from Handmade Plush Toys. This is Plushzilla, Plushzilla, Plushzilla. 
These are super cute. Can't get over how cute. You something from this side for the stuffy, fluffy, fluffy waffles? Oh, you want a stuffed D20. Um, Jay really likes collecting those dice. It'll be fun to get one of those, um, at like a D20 or something like that. Plush. I think the answer may be these reversible plushies that I saw earlier. They're happy and turn them inside out. Not so happy like this guy. Cute. Alternatively, not so cute. Cute. Yep. Even cuter. Uh, easy enough and super amazing. Buy two, get one free. Huh? Success! 30 bucks for three of these. It was like 15 each, so we got that. And now, do I look for myself? Should I go back to the anime VHS? Should I go to the cheap Famicom and Super Famicom and all that? Maybe. Well, let me put these back and we'll do a little shopping here. So it was a little, you know, 30 minutes before closing. People are starting to break down a little bit. This is where we're going to find the best deals. I mean, I especially like the fact that the sword and your shirt I didn't even think about that. match up just enough. It's all an accident. This is... <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> Fun idea. Let you know that every game comes with a manual. I still have a box of games with manuals, and i got to do a uh, whatnot stream sometime. But I could always find maybe new games with manuals that I don't have. Like X-Men. Oop, Solomon's Key maybe. Not bad. It'd be nostalgia, but some of the best box art you'll find on the Atari 2600. Not that one. On the Atari 2600. That's a pretty good one. On the Atari... Come on. On the Atari... Oh, okay. I thought this was a screenshot. I mean, if you need them. Funko Land sleeves? This is kind of fun to have in the first place. Okay. You're just gonna... Okay. I'm, I'm being... I'm being... Oh, see, I, that, this guy's got my back. This guy's got my back. With the quality... Tombs and Treasures for 50. Mm -hmm. That's the Kelsey I remember, buying yeah, stacks of random games. That's me. And again, looking out for my friends too. Metal Jesus is always looking for uh, 360 faceplates. So I just took a picture of those, messaged them. Maybe I've been, I'm hunting for other people too while I'm here. I looked through it a little bit. And there's some good stuff in there, but of course, you know, end of the day. Oh, that's, that's cool. that is glorious. It is indeed. Ooh. Mighty Bomb Jack, no. No, yeah, right, yeah. Mighty Bomb Jack, yeah. I bet you just by the color, this is the uh, that little Ninja Hattori kun or whatever. Yeah, that's you, you always see this pop up. <laughs> it, it's playable. CD, CDI in there? Oh no no no! It's, it's uh, all all uh, PlayStation One imports. It looks like at least here, and then over here maybe a little bit more. Looks like it. Yeah 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 yeah. And hopefully you have that N64 region mod to play these games. Something like that looks cool. But it's like you know, ten bucks. I think it's like forty. Yeah. Ten bucks. <laughs> ten, 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 ten. All ten. Games like Baseball Stars 2, The Untouchables, Ganon's Revenge, Nightshade. Oh, we were at the zero hour of the convention here, and I'm already just now finding probably the best price NES games. With anticipation for like three bucks. You know, Ice Hockey, 365, or you know, 399 is four bucks. We can round it up. Yeah, if I was still like buying in bulk for the sake of like giveaways and stuff, this would be, I'd just grab a couple of bins of these. I'm still half to, yeah, I like all the prices here. Should make them an offer on all of them. <laughs> but I have to bring them all back. <laughs> yeah, the Gamers for Gamers booth always have good things going on, including all of these uh, import Game Gear games, more imports, uh, 64 games. Just love these controllers here. Look at this. Import systems. I see them now. Look how fancy. Ooh. Oh, I like this one down here, too. Oh, I love it. He's custom? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Great work. I was admiring your uh, your, your 3D uh, squirtle here. Is that who's holding the giant cartridge? I must he have missed that. Sign, oh, okay. That, well, that makes sense. That yeah, makes he, sense. He I see. Where'd you pull that out of? Oh, dude, I can't even grab it. It's all the rainbow edition. What? And then, of course, gotta have the Gengar. <laughs> Attention, MGC participants. Uh-oh. The last purchase, they just closed the doors. I got my goat in there. Hung out with this dude all weekend. Gonna support the cause. Looking forward to playing this on uh, Twitch too, so watch out for it. Bring them on in. Final count, 122. <laughs> We're off to a swimming start this 2023. If you're at a convention, bring your street pass. If I'm not there, bring your street pass. And we're bringing street pass back in 2023.